Hey everyone, it's Will with Atlanta X Driver. Uh, <laughs> an appropriate name because I'm slowly making my way out of this. But in this video, I wanted to cover why I don't do long trips anymore and why I think you shouldn't either. Now, there's gonna be a little bit of controversy in this video because long trips. They're pretty good, I would say, if you're first starting out. I'd say your first year, there's nothing wrong with um, doing airport runs and things like that. And for the more seasoned drivers, you know, if you've got a little bit more miles on your car, they're still not too bad uh, as long as you can provide that customer service to get the tip, um, which is why I'm kind of showing this video. Uh, if you want tips on... <laughs> If you want tips on how getting how you should get tips or how you can get tips, uh, I have another video that I'll link in the description. But I just want to show you this trip, and for me, this is pretty much how all my long trips are because I live in Roswell, and it's a great place to get airport trips, especially early in the morning on the weekdays. But let's just look at the breakdown real quick. So, a very important thing to note is how much you're getting paid per mile and how much it's costing you to drive per mile. So the nice thing about long trips is they're pretty easy to say. So, okay, so you can already see the distance you get paid almost 61 cents a mile and then the time you get paid about 11 cents a mile. So putting those two together, you're getting about 71 cents a mile or yeah, about 71 cents a mile, I'd say, um, if you're consistently going at a good speed. Um, but even with this like split, it's so hard to say like you make a certain rate per mile because I mean you could go 10 miles and it might take you 45 minutes or you know 10 minutes um, Which is a whole nother thing sometimes traffic can help you because it earns you a little bit more But it's really not significant in the long term but anyway so this trip was 33 miles and I mean you guys can pretty much plainly see it so I got $20 for the distance fee and or distance payment and $4 for the time so without the tip that's $24 and the difference between 33 and 24 is 9 that is 9 unpaid miles that I drove if this person didn't tip me and ladies and gentlemen that adds up so quickly it is it is just ridiculous so I understand it's great to start the day out with you know even the $24 trip you know it's not that bad you can set it up to where you go back into the city and it, it might work out um, for the week or whatever I feel like everything kind of just falls into place if you know what you're doing but if you're focusing on long trips just just be very cautious of this because you need to know how much it costs for you to drive per mile. So for me, actually it's probably a little bit less than 17 cents uh, since I did that video, but I'm just gonna say it, it costs me 17 cents uh, per mile to drive. So you're, you're probably saying, well like, well that's only, you know, only $1.70, you know, just about if I were if I were to round this to a 10 mile, a 10 dead mile difference. Um, but like if you're doing multiple trips a day, like if you do like five or six of these a day, you're losing uh, all that money. And it adds up, you know, for the month, for the quarter, for the year. Uh, so just be very mindful of that. Uh, long trips, I just, I really, if you, honestly, if you want to do long trips, I would suggest either doing it so that you're set up to do better trips. So like if you're out in the boonies, um, I'm not really out in the boonies, but you know, if you're like out in Douglasville or... I don't know, Hiram, or even like over in Snellville, it might be good to, you know, get that long ride that takes you into the city, kind of take the upfront uh, cost, if you will, of those dead miles, but at least that ride took you into the city. And then from there, you can hit the surges, you can stay busy, because obviously Atlanta's way more populated than Snellville, and, you know, eventually you'll, you'll kind of make it up in a way. But if you're just focusing on long trips, you, you really need to be mindful of this stuff because it'll it'll catch up to you. The mileage will catch up to you and you'll be like, this is crazy. And I mean, Uber and Lyft are just doing things that I just don't agree with at all. This payment is terrible. Um, you know, it's, it's a good time to get creative. I'd suggest creating a YouTube channel, documenting, you know, your experiences and stuff. Um, be careful about 
recording drivers because people have gotten in trouble for that but um you can always like blur out their face and stuff i think but <laughs> yeah i know some people are like selling snacks in their cars some people are networking um it's good for that but yeah it's it's just it's just getting hard at least for me uh here in the atlanta market so i'm uh i'm slowly easing my way out but i'm trying to make a couple more videos for you guys uh, hopefully provide some value especially if you're you know kind of on the fence for this but just keep it in mind i try and stay within uh 20 miles for distance um oh and another thing for if you want to do like long trips uh this might sound not not counterintuitive but not really fun um so if i were to do this drive at like 3.30 till I would say 6.30 in the afternoon, you know, when traffic in Atlanta is amazing. Now, when it takes you like an hour and a half just to get down there in the HOV lane, um, this would be closer to a 40, maybe even a $45 ride. Um, because sitting in that traffic, adding, like this only took 40 minutes, which is phenomenal. Um, but this, you know, you basically double the time and then you would double uh, the time payment. So I'd actually get $8.00. $28 and then um, possibly a tip hopefully a tip but yeah that's that's really all I can say for long trips just just be mindful you know if you see like a 50 mile ride you might get excited especially if you're new you're like oh I'm gonna make so much money oh man oh man <laughs> just say no all right guys well this is a short one hope you found some value uh, as always feel free to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video drive safe everyone peace